Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another update on my Bass Fuss build. What I've got here is basically I have three little mini circuit boards that kind of highlights what I, the three different sections of my project. Now, this is mostly just because I'm working with what I've got. I've got two kind of project boards here and here. And then this is the seven minute fuzz from my friends over at uh, DIY Guitar Pedals. But basically we've got the input on the breadboard, the outputs, the nine volts, just to keep the inputs and outputs pretty simple. But then I built each of these individual ones. This is the seven minute fuzz. This is the uh, Baxendall James Tone Stack. And this is the LPB1 Boost. I built each of them. I confirmed that each of them are working correctly in isolation and then hooked them into one another. So now the next step really is just to go ahead and put this thing, um, the inputs and outputs together, and then put it into an enclosure. And I would definitely think this was a good choice for me at this stage of my building career because it really helped me to isolate problems that I was having. I had a lot of problems with my pots. Uh, a lot of the pots I have I think are kind of old and junky and probably should be thrown away a long time ago. So um, it helped me kind of root out some of those issues. And now I know that I'm moving forward with confidence that this part of the build works and works confidently. So at least I can feel somewhat good about knowing where I'm at. So that's the approach that I took. Let's keep moving forward. Hey, it's Clay. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to another video. And this is going to be the conclusion, the thrilling conclusion to my Baz Fuss adventure. Finally, I've got it in an enclosure all wired up and ready to go. And I'll leave a link to the schematic down in the description below. But basically, I've... There were some things in the planning stage that either maybe I didn't end up liking or they just were proving to be a little bit challenging. But I did pare it down a little bit. Basically, we've got this pretty much a stock Baz Fuss going directly into a slightly modified James Tone Stack going into a LPB1 Boost. So um, my only controls are bass and treble from the Tone Stack and then the volume control at the very end at the output of the LPB1. So overall, a pretty simple circuit. Um, but I'm really happy with it. I think it ended up turning out really good. I had a lot of problems getting it onto the circuit board, and some of that was just refreshing some of my wiring techniques. I'm more used to working inside amps where you got a lot more space rather than pedals where you're a little more confined, but um, managed to get everything into this nice enclosure. So um, let's go ahead and give it a listen. First is the, uh, it has a really nice clean tone when you roll back on the volume control, surprisingly. 